Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're here in the garage and today we're going to be getting this jet ski off the trailer by myself. So stick around, check it out, and let's go. All right guys, so here's the setup. We have a double jet ski trailer, uh, sitting on an aluminum trailer, two jet skis. These things are super heavy. Each jet ski here weighs about 800 pounds. The trailer weighs probably about that or more. Altogether, this trailer with the two jet skis on it probably weighs close to about 3,000 pounds. What we want to do is we want to get one of these jet skis off the trailer. Uh, so that way, you know, if we had to do any kind of maintenance on it, if we had to do any maintenance on the trailer, it's just good to know that if you need to take one of them off that you can. So if you want to leave one at home, take the other one out for a ride. Make sure that you're not leaving one at the boat ramp for it to get stolen. It's a good idea to, to take it off the trailer here. Now, back when I only had one jet ski and, one, and a single jet ski trailer, it was easy enough that you could just lift the tongue of that jet ski trailer up uh, and friction and gravity would do the rest of the work and it would just slide that jet ski off the trailer if you need to remove it. I would typically lay it down, uh, even right here in the garage, I'd put, put down like a moving blanket and some sandbags for it to lay, lay on. And it's really no problem. And then getting it back up on that, getting it back up on the trailer was basically just the reverse of that, where you kind of use the, you lift up the tongue of the trailer, slide it, the rear end of the, underneath the jet ski, attach the winch and use it kind of like a lever and kind of lift the jet ski by pushing down on the, tailor, on the trailer tongue and winching it up there. It was a bit of work, but it really was fairly manageable. Not too bad. With the double jet ski trailer, it's just way too heavy to be doing that. Uh, the tongue weight on this thing is about 200, almost 300 pounds. So that's a lot in itself just to lift the tongue, but let alone to hold it up long enough while you shake one of these jet skis off the back, it's a bit of a pain. So what I'm gonna show to you today is the way that you can do it easy by yourself without anyone's help. And the secret key to all of this, liquid rollers. This stuff is a godsend, I tell you what. So what this is, it's kind of, it's almost kind of like a WD-40 kind of consistency. Um, but basically what it is, you spray this stuff down on the bunks of your trailer and it makes them super slick, super slippery, and they act kind of like rollers. And at that point, the jet skis will just slide right off. You do need to be careful when you're at the ramp, make sure that, you're, that your winch is still attached when you go to load these things into the water because they will slide right off the trailer by themselves. But yeah, this stuff is, is pretty good. I got it online on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick up some for yourself. It's super cheap, super easy to use. Basically all you do with it is once you get the jet skis off there one time, like if you go out jet skiing, when you take the trailer back to the parking lot, let the trailer dry out, maybe midday come back to the trailer and come back and hit it with this liquid rollers. Just spray the bunks all up and down. Do that one or two coats for the day and you should be good. I, I did that almost a year ago at this point and you'll see how much is still left on these things. It's still super slick. So I don't know how often you have to reapply this, but going on let's say almost a year and haven't had to reply it, I used about half the can on the both sets of, of rollers here. So that kind of tells you that this one can is plenty. It's more, way more than what you need. Um, and it's gonna last you for a few years for sure between just, just this one can. And here's the jet ski cart that I'm going to use to load this jet ski onto. Uh, again, this is a fairly cheap one. I think it was roughly around $100. I'll put a link again in the description below where you can find one just like this. It's not the greatest cart, but it does work and it's super affordable. Uh, some upgrades I've seen people do is they'll replace these bunks, which are actually made of metal carpeted with some wood bunks. And that's definitely in the future. Uh, these metal ones do have the tendency to scratch but I've used this before and I haven't had any problems. Just kind of watch the edges there and make sure that the carpet doesn't get peeled up. So maybe eventually in the future, I'll replace those bunks with some wooden ones. Uh, but for now, they do they, it works just fine. All right, so what we want to do is get this slid up underneath the trailer there. Kind of get it in line with the other bunks as much as possible. And they do have locks on the wheels. So we'll go ahead and lock the wheels in place. What I like to do next is I like to take one of my ratchet straps and I attach the 
dolly here to the to the trailer just so that way the dolly can't really slip too far away and I don't want to end up dumping the jet ski onto the ground. So even with those brakes in place. Of course we've already got the ratchet straps detached from the back. We're gonna go around to the front and unhook the winch and the safety chain. It's a little hard to do one-handed, but there we go. And now we're pretty much ready. So all that's left to do is give this thing a pull. Gonna be a little bit of pulling, a little bit of pushing. We'll see how it goes. You can see it's already moving. I'm not gonna say you can do this without any work, but it's definitely not too bad. A lot easier than, than it was before I put on that liquid rollers. I guess one of the keys is making sure that the trailer doesn't move on you. Make sure the trailer doesn't move, we're gonna chalk the wheels. All right, let's see if it's any easier now that I got the wheels chalked. And what you wanna do is just make sure that you get that engine over top of the center of the rack here, because that's where all the weight of the jet ski is. So this jet ski dolly here is a lot shorter, a lot smaller bunks than what's on the trailer. So just make sure you do your best to try to center it, you know, this way on the trailer. So as you can see here, it's not quite there yet. The, the jet ski needs to be a little bit further back on that uh, dolly here before we get the center mass right in line with that dolly. So now I would say it's probably pretty good. Um, I know that it looks like there's more hanging off the front than there is off the back, but remember that engine is sitting, remember that engine is sitting right underneath the seat here and most of what's in the front is gas tank and then storage. In this case, the gas tank is empty, so I know there's not a whole lot of weight up front. Uh, and then you just have the pump hanging off the back. So now that we got to this point, I'm gonna unhook the ratchet strap from underneath so that way the dolly can float freely and then we'll just pull the rest of the thing off onto the dolly. Oh, and don't forget to take the brakes off the dolly. And there you have it, that's one free floating jet ski. Now I can move it to the left, to the right, forward, backwards, wherever I wanna go with it. So now if I wanna take this jet ski out riding by itself, I don't have to worry about this other one getting stolen because I can leave it here at home. Also gives me plenty of room here to work on the trailer. For instance, tonight I gotta work on these tail lights. You can see they're having some issues. Uh, so we'll be replacing that tail light tonight. And that job's gonna be a lot easier with that jet ski out of the way. And if you just need to store this somewhere, or, you know, or if just one of your jet skis is getting worked on, I'll tell you what, this is the way to do it. it. Takes up so much less space when it's on that little jet ski dolly. Here's a look at this liquid roller trailer bunk board lubricant. Yeah, and I'm not sponsored by this stuff. I don't care if you buy it or not, but I can tell you that it works for me. I paid it, I bought it myself, I paid my own money for it, and it works so well, I'm gonna keep using it. And one other question you may have is, how do these bunks feel having that, had that stuff applied? I can tell you, they're really not that greasy. Like, I barely even feel it. I mean, granted, they've been on there for a year at this point, but they're super slick still for the jet ski, but you know, touching my hand on it, I barely even feel it. Like I said, I'm gonna replace that brake light. I got some other maintenance I wanna do, uh, and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to put the jet ski back on the trailer by yourself. Now I've finished up the work on the trailer. So the next step is we're gonna actually put this jet ski back on the trailer. All I've done so far is just scoot it here towards the end of the trailer, get it somewhat aligned with the bunks. Now you'll see how easy this is. Just take the winch and we'll stretch it out. Attach it on there. And that's that, it's super easy. All right guys, so here are your pro tips. Pro tip number one, I would say chalk the wheels. I know that I forgot to do that when we first started and you saw I was struggling a little bit, but you can still do it without chalking the wheels, but definitely makes it easier if you do chalk the wheels. Pro tip number two is, remember to get the liquid rollers 
that's the key ingredient here. Use that stuff to wet down the bunks uh, and it makes it so much easier to slide on and slide off. Pro tip number three is remember to line up the machine on the cart uh, so that the engine is over the center of the cart. That's where the center mass is. So the front end is gonna hang off a little bit further than the back. Uh, you don't want it completely symmetrical, otherwise the engine's sitting too far back. Uh, and you really wanna be safe with this whole thing. That's an 800 pound machine. You do not wanna find yourself underneath of it. It would not be a good day. So that's gonna do it for us today. Remember to hit that subscribe button because that's super important. We really appreciate it. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. So again, here's a look at, and what we wanna do is we wanna get one of these. So again, here's a, if it focuses. Of course, we've already got the, so make sure the trailer doesn't move, we're gonna cock the wheels. Basically, next up I'd like to take, what the hell are these things called? Probably another close to that in the, in the and vice versa, make sure that none of them gets, um, it's just easy to know that you could take one up. It's just good to know that if you could, if you, no.